Hello my lovely Buttercup Joe here from Stratton St. Margaret, Wiltshire, Merry England. There's my man shed there. <laughs> and I've been in my man shed today just pottering around and all that and around the garden. The weather's got quite nice at the, at the moment. Right? Well, I started to think back when I was a lad and we used to have this tramp, right? And I used to tramp around the country, I used to come through Stratton St. Margaret and I used to camp over in the field over there. He used to do some jobs for local farmers and all that. Well, he used to have a little stove, a little wood-burning stove. I think in America they call them hobo stoves. But I thought I'd make one, so I've just made one. Now look at that. Quite simple. I, I got a big can, right? There were meatballs in that. And I just cut that hole in the front there, and I put some holes in the top. I think I'm going to put a few more holes around the bottom later on when it cools down. And then you just put some bits of wood in there <laughs> and let it burn now we've got it on this old wooden plinth here see that there it's just a log really so that the old wind can get at it so it can get nice and hot well I tell you what I just tested it out it didn't have worked well <laughs> I got me old little pot there and I, I put some water on there and I just made myself a cup of coffee well there you go a little wood burning stove, hobo stove, a tramp stove and all the rest of it. Cheap to make and <laughs> cheap to run. All you need is a bit of wood, isn't it? <laughs> Just pick that up anywhere, can't you? Might take a little bit of time longer to boil, I suppose, yeah. especially if there ain't no wind around, just to keep it, keep it going. But yeah, there you go then. Buttercup Joe, reliving the past in his back garden. Near his man shed. <laughs> I better move in there, aren't I? <laughs> well, I could do, really. <laughs> it's nice and comfortable. Okay, then, my lovely Buttercup Joe. Signing off on a lovely summer's evening. A balmy one at that. Cheers, then, bud.